in the earlier session we have seen about the mechanism of the lightning discharge so in this session we will be seeing about the types of lightning strokes it can be either the direct stroke or it can be the indirect stroke first we will analyze the direct stroke in this direct stroke you have two types one is your stroke a another is your stroke b now we will just analyze the stroke a here if you could see just here i have considered a positively charged cloud and i have considered a tall tower and the insulators and a transmission line here so whenever there is going to be a positively charged cloud so it is going to discharge the opposite charge here as a result what happens these charges are going to pass through the ground immediately so usually so whenever the potential difference between the overhead line and your cloud it is going to exceed the breakdown potential of the air then the lightning is going to occur and it is the charges are going to get drained to the ground so if you could consider the characteristics of this stroke a uh, lightning if you could see these direct strokes usually if you are going to see they are quite rare occurring in the nature and this stroke a it occurs that is it falls on the tall subjects so you are able to give the protection against it usually it will fall on the tall tower so you can give the protection against it because by the time it reaches the ground you can provide the protection now we will move on to the stroke b in this case three different clouds are going to be considered and if the potential difference between these clouds are going to exceed the breakdown potential of the air then these two clouds they are going to get uh, discharged as a result they are going to ionize each other and it will disappear after some time now what happens only this free cloud positively charged cloud is appearing on the uh, on the Uh, atmosphere in this case this is going to induce a negative charge and the charges gets drawn to the ground here one unique feature of your stroke b is that in case of this stroke b it is going to ignore the tall objects because the energy in this is going to be very high and immediately it is going to drain to the ground in this case the protection against this stroke b is impossible because it ignores the tall objects immediately it is going to get drained so the stroke beat ignores the tall objects so usually the protection cannot be provided against stroke b whereas protection can be provided against stroke a so which incorporates the tall objects in it now we will move on to your indirect stroke so if you could see this indirect lightning stroke it mainly it is evolves from the electrostatically induced charge in the cloud here you have a positively charged cloud this is going to induce a negative charge here and when this negative charge automatically it is going to induce on both the sides the positive charges and then this positive charges drain to the ground immediately in this case this negative feeds uh, this free charges it is going to travel back and front of the line and it is going to result in the traveling waves or the surges which are going to be in the line usually if you could see most of the strokes which occurs in nature are the indirect strokes which causes the traveling waves being set up in the line or it induces a surge in the voltage surge in the line now if you could see this type of your lightning it results mainly the drawback is that it results in the traveling wave set up in the line now we will see what are the harmful effects of the lightning the first thing is that it creates a traveling waves because of this traveling wave is going to be persist for a long period of time then it results in the insulation breakdown and also whatever the poles it wreck the poles behind it the next thing suppose let us assume the lightning it uh, affects the transformer winding so immediately it leads to the insulation breakdown and causes the damage of the particular equipment now the third thing usually due to the arc which is going to be set up due to this lightning wave form when arc is set up automatically it creates oscillations in the line so when it creates oscillations in the line again it might lead to the oscillations are nothing but the voltage surges so this again it might lead to the damage of the equipment so thus in this 
uh, in this class we have seen about what is direct stroke, what is indirect strokes and where the protection could be given against your direct stroke and mostly occurring strokes are nothing but your indirect lightning strokes and what are the harmful effects of lightning. So, in the next session when this lightning can create so much harmful effects, in the next session we will be learning about what are the equipments by which we can protect these over voltages. Thank you.